In this second video in our How to Promote Your Website series, I'm going to explain how Google AdWords works. So let's get started. So Google AdWords is one of the most popular ways to advertise online. And you can display your ads on Google Search and also on websites that are part of the Google Advertising Network. So let's just take a look at some of these ads. So these are paid advertisements. So these are text ads. And these would be examples of image ads. So if you're focusing your advertising on Google Search, the placement of your ad is determined by your ad rank, which is based on the quality and relevancy of your ad, as well as the bid amount. So for example, these advertisements have a higher ad rank. So this is how bidding works. There are three main bidding options. There's CPC, which stands for cost per click, CPM, which stands for cost per thousand, and CPA, which stands for cost per acquisition or cost per action. So for example, if you chose the CPC option, you'd basically be paying for every time a visitor clicks on your ad. So this would be a good option to choose if you're trying to attract visitors to enter your site. So a lot of the time, these ads are text-based. So the bid amount would be the highest amount that you're willing to pay for each time a visitor clicks on your ad for a certain keyword. So these text ads are probably paid by cost per click. So if you choose the CPM or the cost per thousand option, you'd be paying for every 1,000 times your ad is shown. So this is a good option to choose if you just want to get your name or your brand out there, and also if you can include a lot of information right on your ad. Also, if you have an image ad, this is a good way to display your ad on other websites. So a lot of ads that are paid by cost per thousand are image ads. So these could be paid by cost per thousand. So cost per acquisition is a little bit more complicated. And basically how it works is that you pay for every time a visitor completes an action on your site. So for example, signing up for a newsletter or making a purchase on your site. Also, Google lets you set a daily budget maximum. And also you can choose whether or not you want to set your bid manually or let Google do it for you, keeping your budget in mind. So there are other ways to advertise with Google. And one way is to use Google remarketing, which you're looking at right now. So Google remarketing allows you to show your ads more frequently on websites that are part of the Google ad network to visitors who have entered your site in the past. So this helps them keep your website in mind. So that's it. So the options you choose depend on your goal, on your budget, and the type of business that you have. So it may take a while to experiment and find out what method or what combination of methods work for you. So if you have any more questions or comments, you can always contact us at website.com through live chat, through telephoning us, and through submitting a ticket. See you soon.